Okay, let's look at uh, solving equations that involve fractions. Okay, and what I'm talking about specifically here is, we're calling this a linear equation. Okay, um, the difference between this and what we're going to talk about as a rational equation later is that what makes this linear is the fact that the denominators are all integers. There's no variables in the denominator. If there's a variable in the denominator, we've got some uh, possibility for asymptotes, which becomes a rational function, which kind of complicates things. You know, to give you a different perspective, um, you know, x plus six over four is the same thing as one fourth times x plus six, right? So that would be equal to one half plus, and then we could write that third term as one ninth times x minus seven. Okay, so this equation and this equation are basically the exact same, right? They're equivalent. It's just how I choose to write it. And when it comes to fractions in an equation, if you don't want to deal with them, which I'm sure most of you don't, I don't, uh, we clear them out. And the way that we clear out fractions is by multiplying everything we see, every term here uh, by the uh, by a, even just like a common multiple of the denominator. So when you look at the denominators of four, two, and nine, okay, we're looking for hopefully the lowest common multiple, okay, but it doesn't have to be, right? So worst case scenario, you take all of these numbers, you multiply them together, four times two is eight times nine, that's 72. I could multiply everything in this equation by 72. Okay, and that would, it would work, right? It, the, the answer wouldn't be any different than if we found the lowest common multiple, but actually the lowest common multiple of four, two, and nine is 36, right? So 36 is, uh, these are each a factor of 36. There's nothing lower than that that I'd be able to use. So bottom line, we're going to multiply everything we see here by 36. And when we say everything we see, what I'm talking about is every, term in this equation. So this is a term, right? There's a lot going on there, but this is a singular value. It is a fraction, okay? So I'm multiplying 36 times this. I'm also multiplying 36 times one half, and I'm multiplying 36 times this expression. And what, and what it comes down to, we're trying to, to start with a simpler one. Let's just look at just this first term and kind of hash out what we're talking about. When I multiply 36 times x plus 6 over 4, okay, and I'm going to break this one down as much as I possibly can so you understand what's happening here. That's really 36 over 1 times x plus 6 over 4. And 36, we've already established, is a multiple of 4. So in other words, 36 is 4 times 9 over 1 times x plus 6 over 4. Now, where this uh, this concept falls in the in the the progression of our course, you've already learned how to simplify rational expressions. It comes down to understanding factoring and and cross canceling common factors. So we're really crossing out in this multiplication in this product. We're crossing out the fours. So we're really only multiplying nine times this expression. But since this expression is a binomial, right? It's really nine times x plus 6. Okay, so just this piece of this equation becomes 9 times x plus 6. What's that going to equal to? I'm also taking 36 and multiplying it times 1 half. Okay, so uh, I mean, I could write this whole thing out, but I think it might be best just to separate it like this and say 36. This is now 36 times 1 half. And again, this is 36 over 1 times 1 over 2, and 32, or excuse me, 36 is a multiple of 2. It's 2 times 18. So if we cross cancel here, the 2s are going to cancel, and we have 18 times 1 over 18. So we get 18 for that piece. And then for this third and final term, we're doing 36 over 1 times x minus 7 over 9, and 36 is 4 times 9 over 1. And so we can cross cancel the 9s here. And this ends up being 4 times x minus 7, right? The mistakes that we see here most common are 
people that just write x four x minus seven, not four times the quantity x minus seven, right? We're cross canceling here, and we're left with a number that's being multiplied times this uh, expression still. Okay, so if we continue this problem, we're going to have to distribute here. So we get nine x plus fifty four equals eighteen plus four x minus twenty eight. And then from there, this is just a linear equation, right? Get your x terms together, get your uh, constants together on one side. I'm not going to continue with this. This is, you know, intended for an Algebra 2 class. You can take this from this point forward. Okay, Algebra 2 slash precalc. So you can take this forward for the rest of the way, getting your x terms together, getting your constants together. The whole purpose of this video is to talk about how do we clear these fractions to make this problem a little bit more palatable, okay? comes down to multiplying by the least common multiple of the denominators.